The most famous pilgrimage route across Europe, the Way of St. James, has a brand new encyclopedia. Forty experts from eight countries have zealously collaborated in conducting the research for this work. In this encyclopedia, we have ensured that the entire universe is Jacobian in every way. At a historical level, the characters, events, meanings, roots, and historical pilgrims and rituals. It is, if not all, almost everything. The Jacobian world has a historical dimension. The pilgrims that arrived in Santiago came from all over Europe. The route itself is a work of all of Europe, even Iceland. The encyclopedia explains, among other things, the meaning of Bota Fumeiro, the typical dress of the pilgrim, and the history of each of the rituals that have sprung up around the way of St. James. Rites have emerged in the past and are still emerging. I think this is one of the more interesting things collected in the work. The route is defined through symbols like the cross or the drone, which is the pilgrim's walking stick, and, of course, the Cathedral of Santiago is full, in the best sense of ritual. The most significant thing is the embrace of the apostle. The encyclopedia is composed of 18 volumes and includes more than 3,000 entries, which detail everything from the birth of the first road in the 11th century to the history of the 100 roads that exist today. Pope Benedict XVI received a copy a few days before his trip to Santiago. We knew it was a great desire that the Pope had with his brother Georg to travel to Santiago. When we gave him the encyclopedia, he told us the news that the trip had to be done soon and literally told us to use it to plan for his trip. Monsignor Frohan told us that he had already been browsing and reading the work. A few days later, we received a letter of thanks from His Holiness for the work and congratulations on the edition. The Way of St. James was declared the first European cultural route in 1987 by the Council of Europe and a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. Last year, it celebrated its Holy Year and will celebrate it again in 2021. In addition, this year marks the 800th anniversary of the consecration of the Cathedral of Santiago, one of the world's most beautiful churches.